Hey, this is Ali for Gadgets360. Today we'll be taking a quick look at Microsoft's Continuum feature, how it works, what you can and can't do with it, and what you need to get started. While the name sounds similar to Apple's Continuity feature, it couldn't be more different. Apple's Continuity is more about convenience, as it lets you pick up from where you left off when switching between OS X and iOS. Continuum, on the other hand, is more about flexibility as it lets you turn your phone into a makeshift PC and use your mobile apps on a bigger screen. Continuum is currently available on Microsoft's flagship devices, namely the Lumia 950 and Lumia 950 XL. It will also be available on upcoming Windows 10 mobile devices such as the Acer Jade Primo. Once you have a compatible phone, you'll have to buy Microsoft's Display Dock which currently retails for 5,999 rupees. If you want to connect it wirelessly, you will have to buy a third-party dongle which should be available soon. The Display Dock comes with the necessary cables for connecting your phone to an external display. However, you will need to invest in an HDMI or DisplayPort cable separately. Once connected, your phone's display will be extended onto the monitor which will look very similar to your Windows 10 desktop. Your phone's network and battery status shows up on the corner, while the start menu is a clone of all the tiles on your phone. You can optionally connect a keyboard and mouse for a desktop-like feel or simply use your phone as a touchpad. The output resolution is 1080p and you can also choose to clone your display if needed. Currently, Continuum works best for Microsoft's native apps. The main advantage of opening these apps on the larger screen is that not only is the app scaling to fit the screen, but it gives you the added flexibility of displaying all the features of the app in the same way you'd use a traditional Windows desktop application. There are a bunch of third-party apps and games also compatible and more should be added in the coming months. Apps that currently cannot scale are greyed out when viewed on the big screen. Some keyboard shortcuts like Copy, Paste, Delete, Alt-Tab between apps and Alt-F4 are present which makes it easy to work with if you're already familiar with Windows. During this time, you can still use your phone to make calls or use other apps. However, you won't get notifications of incoming calls on the connected display. Since Continuum is still a very nascent feature, there are some limitations that prevent it from being the true desktop experience that it could be. For example, the connected display loads up a desktop version of web pages on your browser, which causes a noticeable lag. Also, you cannot resize the apps, they will always have to run in full screen mode. Continuum has the potential of turning your phone into an entry level desktop PC. If all you ever use your PC for is surfing the web, watching videos, listening to music, and working on that occasional Word or Excel sheet, then Continuum will let you do all of that on a monitor with just your Windows 10 phone. It probably won't replace the desktop anytime soon, as you're still limited to just a few apps that work with Continuum, and much of the traditional Windows functionality is still absent. However, with enough time and a few more universal apps, your phone could very well replace an entry-level desktop PC. So that was a rundown of the features that Microsoft Continuum has to offer. Hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel for more videos. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Gadgets360.